I think my approach to making a documentary is pretty much my approach to everything I do, which is I do vast amounts of research and I just immerse myself in the subject. And my children will tell you I become deeply boring on the subject. Um, I mean, I just, I like to get to the point where I'm kind of obsessive, where I'm dreaming about the subject, where I see it everywhere I go. Um, because that's just immensely fertile once you're in that sort of zone. I need to get to a point where every piece of research I do is telling me something I already know. And you, I do hit a point where I think, okay, there's nothing new here. I found another example, it's exactly the same. And at that point, you know you've hit some kind of fundamental truths. And if you do more research, it's not going to do much except add some more footnotes. I think the thing about documentary is that there are a million different ways to do it. And, you know, that's the excitement. And it's also, if you're smart, it's what's intimidating about it. Because there isn't, there isn't an absolute kind of recipe for the perfect documentary. I think probably if you look at everything I've ever done, you know, underlying them is a profound skepticism. You know, there's always the, the thought maybe you don't know everything about this that you could. Maybe the way we think about this is wrong. Maybe there's another way of looking at something. And I feel that quite profoundly, that although, you know, I probably come across as somebody who's very certain of things, um, and, you know, and have more than once been accused of being overly dogmatic, in my heart of hearts, I always carry the assumption that I could be completely wrong. And, um, and I think that's a good dialogue to have with oneself all the time, which is, you know, Margaret, maybe you're really wrong about this. If you were really wrong about it, why? What, what's wrong? And, um, you know, that's not a deeply comfortable conversation, but it's really interesting. <laughs>